Hello everyone, welcome to Hugh Spotlight and we want to give a warm Winnipeg welcome to Autogram. I've got Cece, Lars and Silo all in different cities. So this is the beauty of doing the interview virtual. Welcome guys to Hugh Spotlight. Uh, best of the year to you guys too. How was your holidays? Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> Although I know that you're all back to work, nothing. there's never a break when you're a diehard musician, I know that. So, uh, first of all, congratulations on the single Born Losers, but more importantly, the video. The video is so much fun, and that's why I think really it attracted me to the music of Autogram, because it is all about having fun. So, I'm going to maybe go to CC. you're in Vancouver. I have just, you know, an affinity for Canadian cities. So, CC, tell us a little bit about Autogram and how it came to be. Sure. Um, well, Autogram was sort of conceived of in Berlin. Um, Josh and Jiffy and I had all spent a lot of time there. I was living there at the time that Jiffy came over and we kind of uh, had the idea for the band, and that's why it's got a German name. And uh, we were listening to a bunch of uh, sort of power pop sort of music over there, and he bought an album by a band called 2020, that we listened to on uh, the turntable at the place where he was staying and uh, kind of fell in love with that sound and decided we wanted to make a band that sort of emulated that that idea and then so we all ended up in vancouver for a moment where we were all living and uh that's where the band got started and then of course pandemic hit and everybody sort of split splintered and and then Lars joined the band at that point Okay, and Silo, you guys are no strangers to music. I was counting the number of bands between the four of you guys, and it's incredible. <laughs> Quite a few. But, I mean, also, uh, this just kind of happens when you, uh, shall we say, uh, age like a fine wine. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, you know, we've all been playing bands since we were, we were like teenagers. So, I mean, they're bound to be, uh, you know, at least in the tens of bands by now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I think it's a record. I think it really is. Um, and for you, Lars, yeah. <laughs> what was it that drew you back to join these guys with Autogram? Oh, uh, uh, the band I'd been playing with, toured with them a few times. And, you know, I'd known them for a long time. Um, so it felt pretty natural. It was like we'd already spent time on the road together and... Um, you know, really liked being around each other. So it wasn't a hard decision. <laughs> well, and I guess it's all about dynamics. And now, Cece, talking about the music, the genre, um, I, you know, I feel shades of the 80s, punk, uh, and we all know that history repeats itself, music repeats itself. Do you think we're going to get back into those kind of genres again? Uh or yeah, are, maybe, we already, yeah. are we already in it? <laughs> Going back to what Josh said, I mean, I think we've been we've been around in, in this music thing for a while, so we've seen a few trends come and go. Um, and I don't know that I don't know that we're starting anything new or <laughs> or rehashing anything that's, that's new. You know, I don't think. We're, but um, we're just doing our thing at this particular moment in time, and I think that we're trying to keep it as as uh, true to form as possible, as as authentic as possible. Oh, well, I think... Yeah, I mean, it'd be it'd be really cool if popular culture uh, coincidentally just came around to what we're doing, but we're just doing what we're doing, and uh, <laughs> we're really not paying a lot of mind to what popular culture is doing at the moment. Oh, come on. Like, Lars, aren't you following uh, Taylor and Travis every single <laughs> moment that they, you know, get together? And have you not seen her movie yet? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I haven't seen the movie. Um, a, a couple years ago, I was working in a record store, so I kind of had to be more aware of this kind of thing. Or just tangentially, like, you end up seeing people buy the thing and notice what that is. But there's so much, I guess, like, Taylor Swift is maybe the last of kind of that monoculture, where I feel like because of the internet, things are so splintered now, there's kind of an audience for every niche, maybe. Well, that's cool. Okay, sure. so talking about the album, music that humans can play, I, I guess it's, there's probably a story behind it, uh, but Cece, uh, I guess what was the intent of this album? And I know that it was made during COVID, and what were some of the challenges you guys faced? Um, well, being in four different cities, 
or three different <laughs> cities makes is probably the first challenge. Um, and then I think by the time we recorded, there was this sort of a, a lull in uh, restrictions and stuff, and people were traveling a little more freely. I think it tightened up again after that, but at that particular moment, it was feeling pretty good. It was in the middle of summer. It was a hot summer. We were at the beach a lot. And uh, I don't know. We were just kind of enjoying the time together and putting the record together. I'm not sure. I don't. Maybe you guys want to add to that. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it just felt like, you know, it, it did require a little more planning to do it this way. But ever since the beginning of the band, we've needed a lot of planning to do anything because we're all just busy people and we all have like different kinds of jobs. And so it didn't really feel like super different apart from the fact that we were more spread out over different cities. And so it's like, we just had to, as usual, like make time to make it happen. And once we got into it, it was just like super fun basically. And it's with this band, it's like, we try to, uh, kind of highlight the experience of doing it more than anything else so it's like this is what we want to do we want to go on this vacation slash tour or we want to go on this you know like hang out slash record an album in a studio <laughs> well it's kind of nice right to be at this point in your careers uh, you guys are going on tour in march to uh, europe so how exciting is that lars i'm super excited yeah, uh, we just got our ticket. So, yeah, really, really uh, looking forward to going over there. It makes it more definite now that you've got the ticket in your hand. And Cece, congratulations. I, you know, in this whole story, you you became a dad? It's true. I did. <laughs> to, more than, to more than a cat. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I was going to say, like, where is your child? And you've got the cat. Oh, she's out for a little walk right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she, she probably... Got... She wouldn't sit as nice, probably, as uh, Ozzy. I, she's not walking by herself, I should oh. probably mention. She's with her mom. But... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... so that's a good experience. Um, oh, and now, yeah, like being a parent. Are, is, are you the first dad in this band, or not? Well, Jiffy, um, our, cert, our keyboard player and singer, um, he, uh, he, had, he has a daughter that he had several years before me, so... Okay. Uh, first dad in the band, yeah. Dad yeah. number one. I'm dad number two. Dad number two. But the I other mean... kid sure will follow. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to get you a mug that says number two dad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now let's talk about the video, Born Losers, because this is so much fun. And I think it kind of really encapsula encapsulates what Autogram is about. Uh, the Sasquatch. Who played the Sasquatch? Was that like that a, was a friend? He's in the Sasquatch costume. Ha -ha. Really? I think we've, all, we've all been in the costume at one point or another. Weren't we? That's true. Actually, uh, there it was more than just CC. I would say CC did the heavy lifting in the costume because <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that CC, you're like the maybe the tallest member of Autogram. I think <laughs> Lars actually is by oh, yeah? five inch or something. Yeah. Yeah. Well. I don't know what I don't know what it was. I think you were just gung ho to do it, and so CC plays the main uh, Sasquatch role. Although a couple people did fill the costume for the shooting because of logistical issues, with obviously CC needing to be in shots. And <laughs> yes. <stuff like> that. <laughs> oh well, Ian. I don't want to give anything away, but yeah, it is. It's hilarious, but. Uh, I want to talk about the song itself, Born Losers. It does have a really important message, though, and I, I really love it. Um, I'm going to throw it out there because, you know, whoever wants to take this on, I guess, and I might be quoting this wrong, but um, we're all born losers until somebody lets us win. Um, we're, we're all outsiders until someone lets us in. I might have done that backwards, but... You it, got it. You got it. It, it, it that is, that... Is a really brilliant lyric. If you really kind of mm -hmm. think about how it applies to right now, what's happening in the world, what's going on in people's lives, um, was that the intent of the song, or was it? Just... Well, I think that I think we always. Uh, by the way, lyric by Jiffy Marks. Oh, okay. uh, great lyrics. And uh, but but I think that all of us, um, you know, 
we're a bunch of old softies and so we get sentimental sometimes when we write lyrics and i think we do have that viewpoint where we get to look back upon our lives and be like you know these are some of the experiences we've had and we don't need to pretend to be cool anymore <laughs> uh and so we can kind of you know look back and thank those people that welcomed us in and allowed us to be cool oh I, and i think that just resonates so much and i think that's so refreshing right now that you're just not another boy band. Right, Lars? <laughs> <laughs> just not another pretty face. But uh, I guess I'm going to throw it out there because, yeah, you you all have such a wealth of experience in music. If it wasn't for music, what would you be doing today? Cece. Oh, boy. Um, well, <laughs> I got my... Uh... I got my my stage name CC Voltage um, when I was a young man working as an electrician. So if I and I actually quit that job to go on my first tour, and that was and so had I not, yeah, had I not <laughs> quit that job, I, I probably would still be an electrician. Yeah. Oh, Silo. Well, um, basically, right before I started really getting into like being in bands. Um, I was absolutely sure that I was going to be some sort of a scientist. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not really sure that I could have taken that path, but I like to think that maybe, maybe mm -hmm. I could have been a scientist if I didn't get <laughs> distracted by rock and roll <laughs> for like 40 years. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. And Lars, <laughs> what would you be doing? Uh, I don't know. Um, like, yeah, I kind of like Josh before getting into music, I was really like into comic books and underground comics and actually kind of got into music that way a bit. So maybe something like that. I don't know. Yeah. You could be making uh, Marvel movies and making millions of dollars. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we are going to leave you or leave our guests, our audience with born losers. Do you want to add anything to the whole premise of the video, guys, just to set it up? Um, I, w I will say uh, this isn't about the general premise, uh, but keep your eyes peeled for the shrimp ring and the banana. <laughs> <laughs> I want to add anything, Good. Cece? No, I think we'll leave it at that. Okay. Well, <laughs> thank you, guys. Great album. Music that humans can play. Going on tour in Europe. Hopefully, you're going to do a Canadian tour. We'd love to see you guys come out west, and or I guess would be east if you're living in Vancouver. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, east and west. East and west. You're right. <laughs> Chicago. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I was I was like half right, but uh, <laughs> anyways, no. Thanks for this time and keep on. Like I know schedules are crazy, but when you guys get together, it's a tour de force. It's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks right. so, much. so much. Okay. And now Thanks. here's Born Losers, people. We'll see you next time on Hugh Spotlight.